Welcome back, everybody. Uh, Cam and I just had a really, really deep talk about um, how the rich are killing the entire <coughs> Earth. So I need to play some Nancy Drew to lift my spirits up yeah. a little bit. So, so be prepared for lots of uh, biting political commentary. In no, this we're not. No, because I'm done. I'm <laughs> tired and I don't want to do it anymore. I want to ride horses and solve a mystery with my friend Nancy and Cameron. So here we fucking go. We gotta, um, we gotta get this rope. So that we That's can right. lasso this thing so we can solve this puzzle. Because last uh, last episode we didn't solve any fucking mysteries. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, also, I want to I wanna start... <gasps> we finally did this that. soon! Yes! I want to shout out a group of people. I want to shout out uh, to everyone over at r slash Nancy Drew yeah. and the Clue Crew yeah. who has showed like unwavering support in this series. Just want to say you guys are the coolest Yeah. and that we're going to keep this up. I have always loved this community since I was a, since I was a little girl. She was a wee babe. So, so, like ever since, um, well, not since I was a little girl because I wasn't a part of the Clue Clue. The, the Clue Crew um, has been greatly helped by like social media. So like when I was a little girl, like I couldn't really participate in the Clue Crew. Well, yeah, I mean, well, yeah. But um, Can't shut that off till it's, done. it's uh. You know, ever since the internet became a thing and social media became a thing, the Clue Crew has always been great. I always love talking about the games with everybody and anybody who will talk about these games with me. Um, and you guys are talkative, you're nice, you're helpful, so helpful, um, you're friendly, and now here you are, like, supporting my dreams and my creative outlet. Yeah. And, like, I, I loved you, I've always loved you, and I will continue to love you uh, probably until the day I die. So, yeah, big shout out to the Clue Crew. And, you know, as someone as who's a, a, been a big fucking nerd his whole life, uh, thank you for being one of the coolest video game communities out there. Yep. You know, you guys aren't like, um, oh, it's a big ass community. Like, you guys aren't like the PlayStation fanboys freaking out <laughs> over Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah. You know, like yeah. fucking shit. Yeah, totally. You guys are just cool ass people. So thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So thank anyway. You, thank you for showing my boyfriend how cool and great the Clue Crew really, really is and how much you make playing these games like just so fun so so anyway what's going on with text love y'all to tears um so we did the chores in the last episode remember you we, got real mad yeah i mean it was worth getting mad about yeah so now we got to talk to text and see if he'll give us a lariat so we can lasso onto that lock so that we can finally solve. i want to solve the petroglyphs puzzle in this episode i mean i hope we're That's doing what i want the focus to be the title of this episode is going to be significantly more mystery solving <laughs> <laughs> are you fucking kidding me okay Maybe we need to report back. If to you'll story. last that. That was kind of fucked up thing to say, Tex. Ah, uh, well, it'd be like that sometimes. Yeah, if I don't kill you first. <laughs> okay, maybe we need to go back to Shorty. Wait, do I have like eggs and stuff in my basket right now? No. no. We did, did make we that cake, though. Did we feed all the horses? We, f we did everything because you checked that off. Do, do, do. Get a layer. Feed the chickens and the horses. Yep, okay, we did that. So we made. maybe we have to go talk to Shorty to be like, maybe Tex would want his cake. Um. Did we feed the chickens? Yeah, it said chickens and horses. Okay. Maybe he wants us to get some, like, vegetables. <coughs> I really we hope we don't have to. If we have to pick more vegetables, Sam, like, I'm going to lose my goddamn mind. No, we don't mind. have to pick more vegetables. We picked vegetables, but maybe he wants us to do eggs now? We haven't done eggs yet, I don't No, I think egg. we did eggs already. Miss Nancy. Oh, my God. Miss oh Nancy, I promise I'm not a pedophile. Just somebody give me a rope, Even please. though I look exactly like one. Please, somebody just... I'm a fully grown man who kind of looks like a baby. Oh, wait. Is there food in this? No, we already fed the chickens. There's food Oh, put the, the bucket there. back. Maybe that's oh. it. Oh. You know what? These games are pretty finicky. So, like, maybe the game is like, no progress unless yeah. you put my bucket back. Unless you clean up after yourself. This is why, you know, like, this it's, is why it's, girls it's are so much cleaner than boys. Because we can't, exactly. even, we can't even play a video game and be dirty. I fucking you know? played Gears of War where you chainsaw dudes in half. Exactly. And you now, don't have to, like, clean it up afterwards. And the last time I killed someone with a chainsaw, like, they really underplay how much ma how much of a mess that makes. Okay. No. Oh, you... <laughs> Need something? May I go right no. Again? Yep. Talk to you okay. Just stay. Okay, so you can we can ride now, but yeah. we need we need the rope. Yeah, I need. Keep your eyes peeled oh, for a play, green. Get a lariat from Tex by playing and winning, winning those his... games he set up for me. In the, right, we have to. <sighs> okay, we have to do the whole rigmarole thing. Okay, I'm gonna take this. All I'm saying, Sam, is I really hope that this isn't more 
chores. <laughs> no, it's not chores. It's like a mini game. So Thank like God. we have to do this thing. This is where this comes into play. Okay. We have to like. We could probably do that. Yeah. Okay. So what we have to like go around the barrel counterclockwise and then go clockwise around barrel two and then go clockwise around barrel three. Cool. Counterclockwise, clockwise, and then clockwise. Let's fucking do it. Let's do it so we can get this Larry, so we can get the show on the friggin' road. So oh my can... god, we are so close to solving the message. We are so close. I can like like it, my my memory from playing this game before is being jogged. Like I I actually think I remember what the message is. Uh -huh. I just uh -huh. we gotta do it. Of course. So let's let's saddle Bob up. All right. Come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. Oh, that was I like. Could be Nancy Drew. Sorry, that noise. That like. Do you hear that? No. Okay, never mind. Ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Is that legit? All we had to do? We just had to click that barrel. Ah. Are you controlling it right now? Yes. Well, I have to click and like pick a direction. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> why is he wearing? I mean, I know the reason why he's wearing that bandana, so they don't have to animate his mouth. But oh, like, no, I <laughs> now I gotta lasso. I, have to, I think I have to lasso this broom three times. <laughs> that lasso animation is fucking killing me. Is it? It just it just looks like a UFO. It's it just like <laughs> floating perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear God, that is so funny. Yeah. You you don't even see your arms. It's just no. It's, it's like just out there. It's just out there. Oh. Uh, that's so charming. Okay, come on now. I thought I had to do this three times. Maybe I have to do it four or five times. You so, know, this is lasso in music. When they were doing like the dun, 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 before, it was like, yeah, I'm trying to read a fucking book. Thank you. God, Lord. No. Because I thought you would have died by now. I yeah. hate. Don't use this rope to hang yourself. It's not what it's for. <laughs> okay. Can I go riding again? Yep. Oh, so it's his text like starting to warm up to us a little bit? A little bit, yeah. We've earned his respect by like, oh, did you take Nancy Drew? Did you? I swear to God. You took the saddle off of Bob! <laughs> <laughs> you were inside the stable for like two seconds. He would have lived. <laughs> he would have been fine. No, text would have been like, are you trying to kill our fucking horses? No, it's two seconds, you drama queen. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, now, okay. Back who's who, who's getting annoyed going. now? <laughs> remember remember two episodes ago well, when I was like, also, this game is tedious I'm as fuck? I'm also playing it for entertainment. But, uh, <laughs> make me expose all of my trade secrets. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, we want to go to Cougar Bend. But we have to do the whole fucking route. Greg. That looks like Mary mm -hmm. Mary. Fuck off. <laughs> Don't ever come back here. Oh, well, she's got a horse, so there we go. Is that, like, a thing that's going to come into play our, later? Our, we might see something on our way back. I don't fully remember. Like a drive-by? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a drive-by in this Nancy Drew game. Hey, Beth. All I'm saying uh, is that there. I said this a couple episodes ago. There is an incredible sense of foreboding in this game. Mm -hmm. Where, like, something awful is going to happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, we'll see. Off to the Cougar Bend. Okay. My favorite place to spend my Saturday nights. Okay. Why don't we lasso the the thing? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Let's just let's just let's just play the fucking game. Can yeah. We? <laughs> Ooh, All right, you, you play for entertainment. That is just like that is just like a motion over top of like a picture. Aw, oh, damn. Yeah. Yeah, they, they made a gif. They made a first yeah, person yeah, gif, they made a gif and just like posted it. Exactly. So are you oh, aiming you when you click or is it just like... No, so I have to wait for the lasso. Like, you see how it's wrinkled now? I have to wait for it to be like perfectly smooth. Like right oh, now. Oh, okay. Like right now. There we go. Oh, that's kind of clever, I guess. Yeah. And now we climb. Boom. And we climb. Yeah. And there's a thing there. I can't get my map out now. I'll just remember the <sighs> okay, so there's like a moon thing on the left and uh -huh. then like... A little crow's feet thing on the right. Perfect. Okay. Um, All right. Mom, mom, mom. There they so are. this little moon guy was here. And then this bad boy was right here. God, I remember when I was really excited about this. And, like, I am still really excited. But, like, there was a whole episode of bullshit. And <laughs> we're back to it. <laughs> now we're back. Oh, we made dear it. God. We made it. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. What's this? 
Okay, so these little these little star thingies cool. are like those are on the map now too. Up here. Were they like way, way up there? Way up here. And then Come really close. The sun is over to the right, like right Sun here. and the moon. Sun and the sun. I think it's like oh, up, okay, so there should be something like just below Beneath. the sun. Beneath uh, I don't know if that. Well, whatever. oh, it's this guy right here. Hey, it's these a tall, little, short boy. These little, these little, these little boys. Yeah, they're like, okay. what's and up, dude? The there, there's, there's one, one more here, and then there's one over here. So and there's I think we can go. Two more we have to discover. Yeah. Should be oh, here somewhere. Oh, there's one right here. And there's the other one. This looks helpful. Oh, arrowhead. Um, just a note for my archaeology friends. Um, don't pick up arrowheads. Leave arrowheads where they should be. Leave them to the professionals, and uh, don't touch them. Don't you? Because you are messing up an archaeological site, and uh, don't touch arrowheads. If you find an arrowhead, leave it where it is. Is that right? Yeah, don't fucking move them. They are archaeological artifacts. Happy's key. Happy's name. What does that mean? Mm, what does that mean? I don't know, dude. I'm asking you. I guess we gotta keep playing and find out. Jesus Christ! What do we do now? So uh, we figured out. There was the so much build up to this moment. Now we don't know what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it'll all it'll all come to fruition eventually. But this is important. This is a clue that's going to help us out later. And it is good that we solve this puzzle. Beneath Cappy's right now. Pappy's cap. Beneath Cappy's keys. Beneath Pappy's pap smear. Pappy's pap smear, please. <laughs> Get yourself checked if you are a vagina owning individual. If you own a vagina or two. If you own a vagina or two, make sure you get them. Make sure you get them smeared. Yeah. Beneath smeared, Pappy's mammograms. Smears, friends. Um, green bottle that's under something. Nope. Uh, it takes permission to go riding. Well, we did that. Well, I did do I mean, that. we've done it multiple times. Uh, figure out a way to get up on the ledge. Okay, what do we need to do next? Mark all the petroglyphs. Yep. yep. We did that. Why Mary is so eager to buy the property from the Raleigh? Don't know that. Uh, Can't okay. do that yet. Okay. Uh, okay. so now we should call author lady. Isn't that what we were doing? Charlena Purcell? Yeah. Well, we don't have any signal all the way out here in the boonies. Amazing. Yeah. Well, hang on. For, for, go, go back to the list for a second. Okay. Scroll down to the petroglyphs one, please. Um, okay. Well, I just checked it off. This one? Mark Roll of Dirk Mate. Oh, that's Francis and Dirk are the yeah. uh, dead people. Yeah, Dirk made all of these Dirk Valentine in the rocks for Francis to find as part of his puzzle. Oh, I thought we were doing that like for someone. So I guess we should go talk to whoever. Who, where are we going now? Like, what's what's our what's our gizzle? Let's go to Mary's. Yeah. Let's see if that does anything. Maybe she got some new shit for us to buy. Maybe. Hey, Mary, I'm I'm in the I'm in the market for a pair of moccasins and maybe a dream catcher. Do you think yeah. maybe I can buy one? Yeah, we'll see. We'll yeah. Just, we'll just she. Um, That's a pretty also, picture we have of a flower. Signal over at Mary's gift, so maybe we can call Charlena Purcell from there. Maybe we can call her friends and be like, "So, what's your situation like? I've been here for a day and a half. <laughs> yeah, I suppose oh. you guys are like on their way. Find out what and where Kathy's keys are, and find out who Pappy is. Ooh, okay. Pappy. Well, obviously we got to do that. Um, we're, we're gonna call Charlena. Let's do that. Charlena, it's Nancy Drew. Ring a ding ding. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this guy. Yeah. She told me to be right through. Oh, she's on the way. <laughs> you really rate. Thank you. Hello, Nancy. Hello, Nancy. I opened that trunk and found a locket watch in it that used to belong to Francis. And was anything in the locket watch? Half a picture. I'm pretty sure what's there is a picture of Francis. I think the missing half was of her father. Anyway, on the back it said, Green Bottle Under. Hmm, wonder what that is. <laughs> I, I was kind of hoping was you kind would know. Kind of That's why, you why I called know. you. Sorry, I know a lot about the Humbers, but I don't know everything. What happened to all of Dirk Valentine's ill-gotten gains? That's what I'd really like to know. Wait a minute. She's looking for her, her his riches? Yeah. Wow. What do you think happened to it? The rumor is Dirk hid his fortune. The rumor in such is that he put it directly into my Francis bank account. Would be able to find it. And seeing that he was basically just a high-spirited, fun-loving guy who loved taking risks, I tend to believe it. But the fact that after Dirk's demise, she spent the rest of her life teaching school in Ohio strongly suggests that she never found the treasure. So the rumor probably isn't true. I think I know why she never is it found pappy? it. Really? Tell me. I found a letter from Dirk that Francis never read. 
had told her how to start looking for what he'd hidden for her. His clues were rather obtuse, though. Yes, please her. tell me. For example, he refers to her favorite flowers and the flowers on her favorites. Do you know what that means? No, and that's the problem. Whatever clues he left for her no doubt relate to things only she and no one else would understand. <laughs> well, I'm going to try to figure it out that's anyway. Way, that's the spirit. And if you <laughs> that's think there's something spirit. I can help you with, please like that. do not hesitate to call. I came across a reference to someone whom Dirk referred to as Pappy. Probably his father, Kashmir Valentine. He was a blacksmith over Good in Prescott. Know. Good to Would know. Francis have known who he was? Oh, yes. Dirk worshipped his father. Which is ironic, because by the time Dirk was arrested, his father had pretty much disowned him out As of shame. As you would, if your son had become a world-renowned um, thief. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, if I was the, if you, I was... You own a respectable business and your son just robs people for a living? If I was Al Capone's father, I don't think, yeah. I'd, I don't think I'd be very happy yeah, with him. If, yeah, Al Capone's father was probably, like, just a guy. Yeah, really. Like... Just an Italian man. <laughs> yeah. Sorry if we got quiet there, folks. I'm actually genuinely interested in the story. No, I think, I think they want to hear yeah, this, too. Yeah, of course. Yeah, if I, if I, like, if I may be so bold, um, I don't really like talking about, like, stuff that we do, like, like, I don't really like talking about how the sausage gets made on the podcast or on the channel, just because I think people don't really care. Mm. But, you know, like, I, I listen to these videos and I watch them and sometimes we talk over dialogue and, like, as a, as a, as a viewer, I'm like, shut the fuck up. Right. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Well, especially in this series where, like, you know, we're, we're, like... More than our other Let's Play series, we are dedicated to, like, playing the game. Yeah, but there's so much dialogue in this that I feel like people people care about what's yeah. being said. If this was a 10-minute episode, then Especially yeah, we'd have to yuck it up. Listening. They, all, mm -hmm. they all love this stuff, right? so let's just, it's fine. Hi. Mary Yaze! I saw you riding earlier near Shadow Ramp. Do you ride again? You saw me? You're mistaken. Shadow Ramp. Don't, okay, don't okay, you okay, ever okay. fucking come okay. near her again. You must have seen somebody okay. else. Um... Oh shit. You, it wasn't okay. me. Oh fuck. So don't go telling people you saw me trespassing because you didn't. Excuse Whoa. me. Whoa. I can't talk. Oh no. Pardon She's mad at us. Me. I'm so sorry. Oh, Mary okay. Yazzie. Okay. Um Sorry, we're closed. You have to go outside back. Yeah, I was going to say we're closed now. You have to go back outside to the PNG, Get okay? Out. Um let's call Bess for hands and just like catch up. Yeah. <laughs> Hey girl, uh, still at the airport? That's weird. I was say, like, it's been twenty six hours. To talk to. The best in George. Directory grew. I want. I wonder who we added. Hello. Where are you guys? You've got to get out here. I saw the Phantom Horse last night. So what we saw last night was the inside of a motel room. In St. I've heard St. Louis is very nice. Uh, yeah, I guess so. It's in Missouri. St. Louis. So. That means it's awful. <laughs> Oh, so this is how they justify them not like yeah. being here? Yeah. They're having the shittiest time. Would you take here. Delta Airlines some <laughs> shit? Like Because we're Delta Airlines and life is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> um You're foggy and, and your plane's got more mechanical problems. <clears throat> we got on the plane and the pilot just shot himself mid flight. <laughs> we crashed in the Atlantic Ocean, but now we're in St. Louis. So they're fogged in in St. Louis. <laughs> Eye roll. Yeah. Just problem after problem, guys, huh? It's very yeah. convenient. Nancy I'm still was like, here by myself. Do you know guys that? remember when I spent money to get here to go on vacation? <laughs> now I'm working. Yeah. <laughs> For free, mind you. <laughs> I love how you clearly had the tone of voice of like, also I realize I'm talking through the dialogue and we just talked about not talking through dialogue. Well, we also have a show where we have to make. Yeah. Um, anyways, uh, so what were you about to say? You, you were about to say something. You were talking like the, the skits from college dropout. You were like, I, <laughs> I too, am going to learn so I can have no money, but I can be the smartest yeah. dead guy. One day Who I will that? too die. Well, that's just the way Nancy talks. Yeah. <laughs> like, here, oh, like, uh, has either of you two ever read anything by an author named Charlena Purcell? Has either of you two ever read anything Damn. <laughs> You nailed oh, it. Oh, what happened? Oh, buddy, come on. Oh, fuck. Really? Oh, my fucking God. Wow. Real, uh, real time problems here, friends. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Windows. I'm actually, like, shopping for new laptops right now, and, like, 
you scroll above? Yeah. No, no, on, not when the uh, not when the uh, oh, conversation is happening. That's actually supposed. Sorry yeah. for that Windows update, everybody. Because no man, leave it that just in. That's had so the real. fucking update. Leave that in. That is so real. Okay. Oh my if god. You want. But yeah, I did I not nail that fucking Nancy Drew cadence just yeah, now? Yeah, no, you definitely nailed it. <clears throat> um, <laughs> it's just funny that that happened right now because I'm actually like shopping for new laptops right now. I have a Mac, and I'm like yeah. considering going back to PC just for like, like, like like hmm. gaming purposes yeah yeah, yeah. um let's do two, two things at a time here though and uh um that that is gonna keep me that's i'm gonna remember this yeah. this exact moment when I mean, i'm like shopping we're playing on a surface laptop surface pro laptop and i adore this laptop like yeah. it's like the best laptop i've ever had yeah um but it is still a windows computer and those have drawbacks yeah Oh fuck! Oh shit! <gasps> that's not what I was thinking, but <laughs> according to Nancy, that's what I was thinking. Or maybe someone just felt like writing down a bunch of gibberish. You know, it happens sometimes. You're telling me that you don't have psychotic episodes where you write things down and you read it later, and yeah. you're like, "Wow, I was in a dark place." You don't just like lose your mind like Taraji P Henson in Acrimony <laughs> and just like do a weird tribal dance and just like write down a bunch of gibberish. But every how once in a did while? she get on the boat? How did she get on that boat? Also, look up Tyler Perry's Acrimony if you want to watch, like, a fun, bad mm. movie. There is nothing funnier than putting Tyler Perry's name before movies and making, like, imagining what that movie would be. Like, yeah. could you imagine, like, yeah. Tyler Perry's The Invisible Man? Tyler Perry's Titanic. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler Perry's <laughs> Godzilla, King of the Monsters. <laughs> no, me and Brad were joking around, and it was like, could you imagine a Tyler Perry Godzilla movie where it's, like... Produced by Legendary, so it's got this huge budget. The CGI looks amazing, yeah. but the main characters are Medea and her friends. <laughs> and it's all about them, like, getting away from, like, Godzilla attacking yeah. their city, yeah. wherever they fucking live. Medea just, like, walks up to Godzilla and just, like, smacks him with her purse and, like, breaks his legs. Like, ah! <laughs> 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 uh, insert Godzilla, Godzilla scream here. No kidding. Uh, oh, shit, that's not what I wanted to click. So yeah, what are we talking to these people for? Like they, they just, they're just recounting know. everything we know already. Yeah, yeah, they're not giving us any hints, which is a bit of a so bust. Let's just move on then. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Bess. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Hope all the fog in St. Louis clears up. Have fun in Missouri. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys. You know, with like projections. What is this fucking Mysterio? Yeah. <laughs> the airport too the airport is just a hub for the airline yeah but, okay. that's it for now could be although i'm really not sure how if we're right and francis never found that treasure okay i'm a message in a bottle i want to find me the right way gonna solve this mystery I have a terrible voice. I don't know why I keep singing on Shut this channel up. for all the internet to hear forever. A part of Let's Playing is randomly bursting out in a song and making jokes that you've made a thousand times. That's yeah. just what you do. Mariazzi Let's just go back to the ranch, says? I guess. Actually, wait. Will Mary Ozzy, like, talk to us now? No, she's, she's, yeah. I've had time to think it over, and I'm not as mad at you as I was before. I mean, she's talking to us again, but we don't have anything to talk to her about. She's not so much, she's not so bitchy anymore. Yeah, she's not so mad at us. Don't call an indigenous woman bitchy. You're right. I'm sorry. Um... Back to Shadow Ranch. On the way to Shadow Ranch. Um. Okay. okay. I, th I thought you. Were, I was waiting for you to say something. You I'm just, just. I'm trying to figure out. You went. Um. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck to do. Nothing. What the fuck do I do now? Um. Put this. Back. Surely some. What about fucking Chris Evans? Can we talk to him? His name's not Chris Evans, and don't call me Shirley. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have you never seen Airplane? No, I know, I know. It's just a like okay. random airplane reference. Ah, uh, yeah. Ranch property. Have you ever seen her riding around here? Nope. Have you ever seen her riding around? Just wow, Nancy, what a narc. I wasn't worried about it. Just want to get you some food. Talk to you later. Yahoo. Well, you, I, can we talk to? Can we do the other option though? May I go riding again? No, no. There was like she was like adamantly denying it. Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe that would have opened up like. Some some new conversation options. Well, we can't pick it now. Ca okay, Cappy and Pappy. Yeah, we did all that. Well, let's go talk to Shorty. Let's see if he has anything for us. Shorty! Gossip. I'm going to make that joke every episode. Okay. 
Stop talking to me, Nancy. I have a thought. I have one thought. Because there's one spot on the map that we haven't been to yet. The, like, trail stop or whatever. Oh, yeah? So maybe if we go there... We can suck up the ghost horse into our poltergust. Or just, maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll find something that'll trigger another event, you know? Wait, do you actually need to talk to Tex and get permission to go riding every time you go riding? Yeah. So, okay, if you took up that that saddle and walked out to Bob, what would happen? He'd be like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, what do you think you're doing? Are you trying to get on? You... Or I think he might let you out, but like, um, he'll be mad at you later. When you, yeah, when you come back, he'll be like, "I thought you were supposed to ask me for permission every time you wanted to go riding. Why didn't you ask me permission? You could have killed Bob." And it's like, well, I thought I proved myself like three times yeah, over. I don't know, Tex. I feel like I've been doing a pretty fucking good job. Yeah. Of you know keeping a lid on things. I did your stupid barrel run and your stupid tests, but <laughs> whatever, buddy. Whatever. Tex? Yeah. That's probably not even your real name. Your name's Tex. You live in Arizona. My real name is Texas. Should have asked me permission to live. My name is Texas Montgomery. Okay. Cool. This place. Um, wow. What a shithole. Well, it's just a trail stop, right? Here lies Charlie, the best mule that ever lived. Never kicked me or nothing. Never kicked me or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this drunk looks like when it was written this. by um, Francis' father. Oh. The like spelling. Remember from his journal how like horrible of a speller he was. I guess. I guess so. Yeah. Looks like he was uh, R.I.P. January. 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 Eighteen eighty one. Okay, um, so there's his dead fucking horse. Maybe that's where. Um, mule. But. Okay. This is dead fucking steed. Um. His goddamn stallion. We can go over there. No, we can't. It just. Brings it back to the horse. Yeah, we just leave again. It's just like. Oh, no. Oh, okay. It's just a... Why well, walk trail. when I can ride? I'm a cowgirl. Cool. What if Nancy spoke with, like, a really... Okay, so, like... That's it? There's, like, nothing to do here? No, there's a thing over here. Oh. Rocks? Oh, okay. Oh, snake time. I'm just gonna back away from that right there. Can you get attacked um, by a snake? You yes, like you can. If I if I can lift up that rock and there will be a rattlesnake underneath it and I'll get bitten and die and we'll have to take a second oh chance. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> you can actually die. <laughs> yeah, you can actually you can actually die from a rattlesnake bite. But um Jesus Christ. You know, I don't want to look at a snake right now. How hardcore. I'm not an idiot. So oh, Wait, man. but but don't we need to do something over here? No, there's like Well, there's a Okay, so there's a puzzle underneath this rock right here. But um we have to do something else first to trigger that event. And um, we haven't done that yet, so. Do, so do you know what to do, or should I look it up? Maybe look it up. All right, we'll be right back, everybody. All right. All right, so. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, this is super dumb of us. Something major happened at the pump house, and we just, like, never looked at it. Yeah, so. remember, remember that whole first evening? <laughs> We're detectives. <laughs> oh, we gotta call the sheriff. We gotta sheriff. call the sheriff. Okay. Is that, okay. Sheriff. Sheriff. SW Geo Survey. Oh, what the fuck okay. is that? We'll have to do that later. <sighs> okay. Nancy just puts anything on her phone, eh? Yeah, like... yeah. Hi, are you the sheriff? Yes, ma'am. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm staying at Shadow Ranch. Oh, yeah? I spent a good part of last night out there. I know. I never got a chance to talk to you. You see, I'm 16, but I'm also a detective. Yeah. Would it be all right if I looked around in the pump house? Sure. I'm all done in there. Should have my deputy take that sign down. Mind my asking why you want to look around? Wait a minute. Dave told me about you. You're the girl detective. Dave told me? Told you about me? <laughs> oh my god, does Dave know my name? Oh my god. Does Dave like my butt? Oh my god. Oh my god. Most of the men. Do you know most of the white men who work at Shadow Ranch? <laughs> yeah. Do you know all three of them? Thanks for your help. All right. That's a good endorsement, but you are a cop, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, take it with a grain of salt. Back in the pump house. Right, check out in the, the fucking pump house. Uh, all right. What's, uh, uh-oh. <gasps> What's this? <gasps> What's this? <gasps> Nancy! What the leave that arrowhead that? alone. That's a giant arrowhead. Yeah, Um. but this pipe has been tampered with. Obviously, yeah, somebody like melted it with acid. Took a fucking bite out of it. Yeah, some fucking amateur. Oh, 
Oh, shit. We found a secret passage. We found a secret passage. Gonna oh go God. down the secret passage. This is my favorite part of any Nancy Drew games. There's always a secret passage. So All like, right, where'd she go? Where'd she go? It leads right up to where Shorty's standing in the house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, What the fuck were you? Why did you come out like a vampire? What the fuck was that? He <laughs> just like. See, I just, I mean, uh, buddy. For Dirk treasure. Buddy. Oh. Um, how long have you known about it? Or then you lied before when you said you didn't know. Who no, Dirk he didn't lie, Nancy. You told him fucking everything like you should never do. <laughs> You're a detective. Aunt Ellie was Francis Humbert's cousin. When she died, oh. she left me a bunch of stuff, including an old letter she'd gotten from Francis. In the letter, Francis <gasps> said that Valentine had hidden a bunch of loot somewhere and wanted Francis to find it by following the clues he left for. Francis was real oh. clumsy, loved puzzles, played the piano pretty good, too. Anyway, That's after irrelevant. Valentine met his end, Francis was too brokenhearted to care about some treasure. She told Aunt Ellie that if she could find it, she could keep it. I also found this. Oh. It's Francis's father. <gasps> it's the other half of the oh, mission. Oh, shit. That's Francis's <gasps> handwriting. Looks like the other half of the message got torn off. I was oh, man. So green You're not going to believe this. Green bottle under the stairs to the cellar? Yep. Um... Nancy, okay. don't tell him what you fucking know. Okay, so I'm just gonna say this right now. Like, we obviously can't trust this guy. No. Now, no. go film another fucking Captain America movie. Like, the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> um. The Raleigh's never mentioned a secret door. The Raleigh's don't know. I was afraid. It, it's why it's called a secret. See, my brother's dead broke. No job. Health's bad. I was thinking. We live in America. Aw, it's true. <laughs> Um, I think this, I think this game was released in, like, George Bush's America, so, like, I'm mean, just it wasn't, that into consideration. It wasn't, it wasn't much better. Um. I understand, but now I'm in kind of an awkward position. I know. That's why you have to okay. die, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this has happened in games before. Nancy finds out something that she wasn't supposed to find out, and then, like, someone tries to kill her. Jesus. Yeah. Um. How the fuck would he do that? I don't know anything about that horse or any of the other stuff that's been going on. I don't know anything about that horse or anything Nancy, else. Nancy, you gotta believe me in my butt, Nancy. Nancy, look at my arms, Nancy. Don't you want to okay, be? Okay, now he's gone. Ooh, scary. He's like going upstairs, but like he's you can't see him. Right. I fucking I love this game so much. That's cool. Um, okay, let's look around this cellar. Thank God she didn't like blow everything she knows like last time. I know. Um, okay, what's uh, what's what's around here? What? So, is this the cellar beneath the ranch? Oh. Oh, that's, that's pretty. That looks like a puzzle. Wow, a 19th century purse with a 19th century um company written on it with a serial number and we have a friend who is currently reading about 19th century fashion as she's sitting bored in an airport i wonder if we should uh take it and maybe we should call charlena purcell mm, <laughs> sure no i was do that too fucking joking <laughs> obviously we gotta call bess and george yeah or whoever the fuck um, bessie and bessie Bess and George, yeah. Go find the green bottle. Is it not under the stairs? No, there's nothing there. Well, what the H? We can't even... Like, he was, like, up in there. We can't, yeah. like... I don't know. Maybe he fucking took it. I don't know. Maybe he fucking uh, took it. Permission to go in the pump house. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. We'll so, probably get more to do... But to these stairs... Well, let's keep an eye out. So, cause... is this not the... Is this the way we came? Yes. So we're going back to the pump house. Yes. I just want to be sure that we've looked at like every... Okay, well, um, you didn't look well, at anything on. the whole way through. There was another staircase leading... That leads up to the house. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is just like a normal cellar. Yeah. It just so happens to be to connected to the pump house. <gasps> oh. Fuck. Oh, shit. Well, this looks like a, this looks like a puzzle. Um. Oh, I, I remember this puzzle. This is like, um, this is like rush hour. Do you ever play Rush Hour? Yeah, totally. So that's yeah. one of my favorites. So it looks like we have to get this piece because this piece is different from all the other ones. Okay. Um, over somewhere. So those, I don't know. Are those where. dots like blank spaces? Is that how that works? Yes. I see. Yes. Okay. Man, this is like, 
th- like this ki- these kinds of games aren't hard, but visually speaking, this one is hard to look at. Yeah, it's pretty ugly. I can't I can't fight you on that one. It's just hard to see which pieces are which. Like you, you okay, it looks like you can't move those big pieces. Those circle pieces, I mean. The, yeah, you're right. Okay, okay, so well, let's think about this. So like move I think if you move that piece to the right over again, you can then move that other piece down. Okay. You can move the piece up top. And yeah, I can put you nowhere. Okay. Well, I was just trying to follow, like, um, movement. If I do... Why can't I move these pieces? Oh, hang on. Uh, it, up top. You see the, see the three with the L? You can move that to the right. This piece right here? That's right, yeah. Okay. Now move that one up. And now you can move that one left or right, should you wish. Oh, those are two separate pieces. Yeah, this one goes up. Oh, but hang on. Uh... Uh... I don't know. I mean, so far, so this hasn't been relevant. But, like, wait, you need to get that blue piece? This piece, yeah. But we can't move that piece because the circle's in the way. Oh, pardon me. Um, I don't know, mate. I don't know, mate. Um, 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 um. Oh, wait. Oh, Oh, you can can move them. They just need to be clear, like, 100%. Oh. That's all we... We didn't have to... Okay. Oh, okay, well, it's fine. Whatever, green we saw... I, 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 yeah, we found the green bottle. <gasps> that was not the sound. Oh, shit. Very helpful, Dirk. Man, say shawl one more time. I know. <laughs> I recently learned what the word also, shawl like, means. Apparently contractions didn't exist in 1883. They did not. I am also glad that you cannot have dairy anymore. <laughs> I am glad that you are lactose intolerant. I'm also glad that you like the handbag that I got you. I knew it would become your favorite on account of the pretty picture the beads make. I want to know all the things that you like so I can make sure you always have them. That's cute. I figure that way you will always want me around. Oh, Meet me on Friday at noon by the big picture rock. I love you, Dirk. And then he got oh. fucking executed. Pappy did not like that shit. No. From California, and you said that from then on the crackers would be your favorite because they would always remind you of me. Well, I met a trader yesterday. Okay, so it's just like, what are we learning here? Are they drenched in tears like the other ones? This rock has been polished to show a picture that looks just like the landscape by one of our meeting places. He called it an agate and said that the picture was made by nature, but it looks so real I can hardly believe it. I am thinking of a way to surprise you with it because it is as special as you are. I will meet you Tuesday at 3 by the Three Arm Cactus. Your father has people watching for me all over the county. I guess you got some of your smartness from him. I love you. Oh, okay. I still don't know how you got a whole cake out to our last meeting place like you did, but it was the best thing. <laughs> I still don't know how you fit that whole cake up your ass, but you got it out. <laughs> no, she hid it under her shawl, Cam. <laughs> your shawl was a mighty mess, though. I love that shawl. Shame you got cake all over your shawl. <laughs> Oh, so he's like a Robin, Robin Hood, Hood type. Yeah. Okay. You see, I may be a criminal, but I'm a more, I'm a less, uh, you know, apprehensive criminal. Or, reprehe- I don't know. Bad person. I'm a pretty good person. Okay, so Charlie's Grave, that was that... Um, the, the fucking horse. The mule the that mule, we yeah. saw at that trail stop. Um, so, now, so now that we do have this... Man, all that work for a bunch of fucking love letters. Wow, yeah. Francis... You are a fucking square. <laughs> um, they, they made they're very important to her. Okay. Um, okay, let's just, well, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, we ov- we obviously explored the pump house, so let's just Looks go. Like back in the den. Perfect. So is that behind the bookshelf? Yeah. So we can't go back that way. I don't. I don't think we can. I think it's a one way thing. Did Shorty not peep Chris Evans, like, coming out of that fucking hole? Like, um, Well, Shorty's t- kind of tucked away in the corner there. So yeah. as long as he's standing, like, right at the stove, you can probably... Get but away. I guess if you if, if Dave just, like, walked through noise. the living room and then, like, exited out through the kitchen, Shorty would be like, Hey, man. Hey, what the hell are you doing in here? Uh, what's going on? Weren't uh, you, like, outside all day? How did you get into the living room Um, without me seeing you? <laughs> 
Okay, so... Oh, we got a whole bunch of new shit now. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, look for the green bottle under the stairs of the cellar. Did that. Check. Check. Check! Learn more about the shawl that Francis knit. Maybe it has something to do with flowers. Dirk mentioned that Francis had a favorite beaded purse. Figure out if it had a flower on it. Uh, see what the name of the crackers were that Francis and Dirk used to eat in cappies. Find out what kind of flower Francis used to decorate the cake Dirk talked about in his letter. Well, but we made that, the cake already. It was already. a tulip. Oh, okay. <laughs> Because oh. <laughs> we, we made the cake already. Dirk said there was a flower on Francis' favorite stationery. Find out what it was. I imagine it's but a tulip. But Francis' favorite flower was the Harrison's yellow. We, we read that in a letter a while ago. Oh, did we? Yeah. Did not... Maybe we maybe we did maybe we secret bro secrets broke the game. Like maybe we had to go read that letter again. No. Um, it's pretty... <laughs> what do you want me to do? Um, maybe. Maybe we do have to go back and read it. Okay. Well, then we... Uh this and then um uh leave a message uh okay i don't know i don't know mate and then like meryl humber blah 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 do the reading. Hereford Shoup came Ooh. by with a plant he brung from New York, which he called Harrison's Yellow. It looked right dead to me, but Francis planted it out back and gave it some water, and already it looks to be on the mend. She is 17 and can read and write good and knows her numbers. Hereford good is for her. Her. Okay. Her favorite flower was a Harrison's Yellow. I know this. <laughs> Just, like, come on now. So can, we, can, can, we, can this, we take the box now? Here's the shawl that she printed. Oh. Oh, that's pretty. Um, Can we zoom in like that before? No. Internet browser. It's Search. covered in pot leaves. <gasps> 420 blazes. Whoa, smoke weed. Common knitting stitches. That's a weird thing you can just like have. Um, Single read? Cable stitch. Daisy stitch. See, this is the stitch. Oh, that that's, that's the shawl. Used, yeah. That's a fucking. To knit her shawl. That's the Dirk shawl. Yeah. He loved that shawl. Never stopped talking about it. Yeah. So is her favorite thing a daisy? No, it's a Harrison's yellow. See the name of Cracker's baby flower. The shawl of Francis Can't knit. Check that off till it's done. Any web shows? Maybe it has something to do with flowers. It does. And we did it. We did it. Fucking um, bullshit. Let's call Bess and George about that. Um, the purse. The purse. Hit up yeah. that purse shit. Yeah. See if they can help us out. All right, Bess. Hello? All right, George. Come on. So what's going on there? It's me. Um, I found I an, found old, an beaded old beaded handbag. handbag that may have belonged to Francis Humber. Was there anything in it? No, but if it's the bag that Dirk mentioned in one of his love letters, it could hold some sort of clue. What does it look like? Well, there's a bird on it, but the beads have completely fallen off this one section. However, it does have the name of the manufacturer at the bottom. It was made by the mm. Chicago Mercantile Company back in 1881. That's one of the companies in my book. Is there anything else on it? Yeah, some kind of number. HB3941. Maybe that Thank God you were just pattern. reading about Thank this God shit. I just had this book on you. Maybe we can track down the pattern for you. That'd be great. Like I said, it could be pretty important. Especially if the part that's missing turns out to have something to do with flowers. We'll get right on it. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, I don't give a shit about any yeah, of these other things. Whatever, Bess. <laughs> call us. Um, I mean, you could always call me. Why Why is Nancy the one putting all the effort in this friendship? I, I don't know. Well, I was going to say, you're the ones who are just like sitting around... Reading books. Stuck at an airport. Flicking the beam. All the time in the world. Uh, 19th century fashion accessories. I learned more about the purse I found. Okay, maybe I need to look up. Is there something on the web about 19th century on fashion? On the web? No. Knitting stitches, Harris's yellow, agates. Cactus? Square Oops. cactuses? Okay. I'm assuming this will... I mean, maybe it won't be relevant later. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, Dog, I don't know. L we sh shouldn't we go to the grave again? We should go talk. We should go to the grave. Maybe, yeah. Maybe that rattlesnake is gone. Now that we've like gotten to that portion of the game, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go without asking text and see what happens. Well, why too. piss maybe him off though? Maybe He's... something funny will happen. Oh, okay. 
Or maybe it, we'll get banned from riding. I don't fucking know. Who knows, babe? Let's find out. Let's fucking find out. Um, what the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> Where do you think you're going? I have half a mind to come over there and spank you. Yeah, spank you real hard. And you're just like clopping away. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, I like Dave. Yeah, like I, you're 12. Oh, I, uh, I misread that. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I totally misread that. I thought you were coming on to me. What with all the snooping around <laughs> and the accusing me of things. And yeah, my sister's crazy. But fuck that bitch. Fuck that bitch. Do you want a sister-in-law? What? <laughs> <laughs> Nancy Drew, will you marry me? I'm, I'm 17. Yeah, I'm like a little girl. All right, well. Well, that's that, I guess. There's that thought, John. <laughs> um, is there still a rattlesnake here? Let's go over here. Yep. There is. Better just pick it up, get fucking bitten, and die. Better just go away. Um, all right, well, that's, uh, that didn't work out. Um, is there anything at Mary's Gifts that could help us out? <sighs> yeah, maybe Mary will be like, oh. I'm trying to uh, trigger an event so that I can move on. Because Bess and George have to, like, call us, but we have to, like, do something right, to warrant their call. Here we go. The treasure Dirk Valentine supposedly buried somewhere around Shadow Ranch. I know it's a lot of hogwash. No. Okay. <laughs> if I had a dollar for every lost mine or buried treasure story I've heard in the 30 odd years I've lived here, I'd have 10 horses, two cars, and possibly my own helicopter. It's nothing Damn, but a Mary. tall tale. Trust me. Yeah, Mary, nothing but a tall tale. Later. Tallest of tales. All right. Let's All hop right. on that horse, back on that dick. Are we sure there's nothing else to do? So there was a flower on Francis' favorite stationery. Find out what it was. Flower on Francis' favorite stationery. With the paper she wrote on. You know what? I'm going to call the Hardy Boys for a hint. Because I literally, like, we can go back to Shadow Ranch, but, like, I don't know what we're going to do there. And I want to get stuff done. Yeah. So. Now what? Hello? Hi, Nancy. What a relief. I can't tell if you're happy to be talking to me or just happy not to be talking to Laptop Guy. <laughs> to be honest, it's a little of both. He calls every <laughs> five minutes. You can set your watch what are the bar, names again? Joe and Frank. He's being Frank so Hardy? Yes. Working faster than we've ever worked before. We're going to solve this case in record time. Like they say, oh, you guys are such twins. <laughs> Uh-oh. Incoming call. Think it's him? 3.25 minutes. It's him. Want me to hang up? No, he can leave a message. So what's going oh, on there? fucking kidding me. No hint? Catch you later. Wow. Sounds good. Bye. <laughs> no, please, stay on the phone. Yeah. All right, bye. <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 wait. Nancy, no. Nancy, no. <laughs> this is all you hear is you hang up. Um, fuck. Are do. we pausing again? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. See you in a second, everybody. We'll be back in two seconds again. <laughs> All right, we got to go back to the ranch. Back to the ranch. Back to the ranch we go. We gotta talk to Dave. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Meanwhile, um, on Dragon Ball Z. Take all this shit with me. Only to put it back, not take it with me. <laughs> only to not take it with you. You can't take it with you when you die. Okay. You can't take it when you die. But you can't live without it. Count it up. Count it up. Count it up. Count it. J. Count Cole, it are you listening? Yeah. No, Eat your heart out, J. Cole. Okay. Uh, J. Cam is coming for you. <laughs> oh, my God. I hate that. <laughs> oh, my God. You don't have to, but oh. okay. Hey, Nancy. I'm pretty hard when you're around. That's a horrible thing to say to a young girl. Actually, I'm kind of glad you came by. Something I need you to do for me, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, I'll do anything, Dave! I've thorn in my side ever since I got here. The wire I need to fix the hole in the fence was supposed to be delivered today. But it's not here yet, and the Raleigh's just called and asked me to run an errand for them tonight. So All right, get to the point, Yeah. So I was hoping you could burn down the chicken coop for me. The chickens and I would really appreciate it. Will the wire get here before it gets dark? Doesn't look that way. But you still have to put it up, even if it means working at night. Just be sure okay. to wear gloves. Okay. Uh -huh. I'll leave my pliers out. If you have to do it at night, that's what okay. A, what an incredibly irresponsible thing. Yeah. Like, sure she's never done this before. It it's dangerous. Have 
Ask Tex. Like, ask Shorty. I know you're a little girl here on vacation, but I was hoping you could do this work for me. Great. Now, uh. is there something I can do for you? Um. What's the letter? See that yeah. letter you said Francis Humble wrote to your great aunt? Sure, got it right here. When I heard you were a detective, I started keeping it on me. Oh my god. Snoop through my stuff or something. Oh my god, you're so right. Dearest cousin Ellie. Whoa. My beloved nice stationery. Yeah. I shall never see him again. And now you will never see me again, for I am on my way east, there to spend the rest of my life. I will never return to the territory of Arizona, not even when my father, whom I despise with every part of my being, <laughs> has oh my left god. this earth. But know this, sweet Ellie. Dirk told me that he had hidden something of great value, and that when all was in place, he would start me in pursuit of it. He was forever inventing fanciful ways to tax my brain, and was quite clever himself. And now he's dead. Then, now he's thanks dead. to my father, he was arrested. Perhaps he wrote me from jail, and his note was lost. Or perhaps he grew to hate me. But he never told me how to find what he had hidden, and I am too heartsick to care. Isn't it fucked up that, like... Back in the this day, like you could have relatives who like die or go to jail and die forever. Yeah. But you just never hear about it. You like, just never hear about it. What will happen to cousin Eddie? And you just like you just have to be okay with never knowing. Yeah. Yeah. You don't you, like there's a lot of people who just never get closure on that shit. And then she enclosed a picture of her dad, aka the vilest man ever born. Okay. Oh, so we we don't get to see the picture though? I mean, we did see it. It's the half oh, in half. That's right. Yeah. yeah he has the right. one half. Like he, t Dave has the pic, the, the dad half, and then we have the Francis half. Right. That she kept. And we found, yeah, okay. Where was the jail that Dirk Valentine stayed in after he was arrested? Do you have any idea? Probably the one over in Dry Creek. <gasps> it's a ghost town now. Oh what? shit! Yeah, Perhaps a ghost horse town. At least they were last I saw. Could you tell me how to get there? Is it a one horse town, and is that horse a ghost horse? <laughs> <laughs> Down. To do with the damn, an hour and a half on a horse? I meant to say damn, and then I said wow, so I said dow. Dow. Dow, dude. Ha, uh, big dow. It might. Well, let me know if you need anything else. I'll let, I'll let you get, get back to work. work. See you later. Yeah, show me that ass. Oh my god, he's so cute. Oh my god, I just I want to kiss him on the lips and penis. Okay. So. Now we can go to Dry Creek. Um, also... That's this like a new is super. Area. This this like didn't say, but um, we had to figure out what um, Francis's favorite flower was. It's not a Harrison's yellow. It's a lily because it's on her stationery. Oh, okay, cool. It was like there was a picture of a lily on her stationery, so you kind of have to like glean from that. So did that it, could we could we check it off? Um, maybe. Is at the top. Um, 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 um. Yes. That's done. Okay. That's done. Um, I'm finished with that. Okay. We're making good headway in this game. Name of the crackers where we have to go to Dry Creek to figure that out. Price of a favorite beaded purse. Figure out how to flower on that. Yet. We have to wait for Bess and George to call us back. More about the shawl that Francis knit. Check. Did that. Did that. Nope. That's done. Pappy is Dirk's father. Yeah, but we didn't, we never found out what and where Cappy's keys are. Okay. And then. Um, Apparently never did that. <laughs> Is that just never gonna happen? We found the green. I guess that'll forever be unmarked. Can't check that don't know why Mary is so eager to buy from them. Okay, okay, okay. We're all caught up. We're all caught up. Let's I, go to Dry Creek. I really wish that the checks would like move to the top. Yeah. The ones that you don't like reorganize. Myself. Check. Oh my god, what? Uh, oh, fix it. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Off to Dry Creek. Off to the land, off to the desert. Also, text, text just like didn't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not doing that anymore. Text I mean, like, like maybe with every new day, I'll ask him again. But like, it'll be like, excuse me, young miss. You know, you know me. Te come on, come on, come on, te come text. Te come on, text, buddy. Come on, buddy. Texty, buddy. Text a Rudy. Text a Rudel. Okay, Dry Creek. Up we go. Off to the dry creek, as opposed to the wet creek. <laughs> as opposed to the um, as opposed to the the tepid creek. <laughs> the damp creek. It's a pretty damp creek. <laughs> that's what the that's what they call my ass, actually. 
The damn crew. <laughs> you betcha. Yeah. Learned that name in high school. Don't ask me why. Probably just a bird. Who? A rock, like a pebble fell down from the... Oh, uh, okay. I was like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, Nancy. <laughs> old email only. So you can look at old messages. You can't get new ones. Well, I don't have any emails, so... I'm really popular. Everybody sends me emails. General store. Can't go there. Dry Creek Sheriff. Oh, oh, the old d oh wait a second. What? What's this? Oh? What's this? Is that a pictograph? I don't know. Well, I can't click on it, so... Okay. Eh. Maybe the corpse of Dirk Valentine is in here. Let's find out. Yikes. The walls in there look like they could fall down any second. All right. Any second? <laughs> I love the way she said that. Yeah, any second. So much for finding out what Dirk left in the cell for Francis. Come on. Nancy, when has that ever stopped you? Also, just pull in the... This place I, I was is old gonna as say, fuck. yeah, it's decrepit. Just pull in the bars. Like, You'll probably open it. Did anybody keep anything in this desk? No, I can't click on it. Okay. Really? Really, really. Oh, lame. Um... Ba -da -ba. I feel like we're going to get jump scared out here. I can promise you that we don't, um, because <laughs> I've been here a million, billion, trillion times before. And this and is your favorite game. You wouldn't like this game if it had jump scares in exactly. it. Exactly. Oh, man. I can piss here? Oh, shit. Is it the pissing hole? Sick. <laughs> Respect. Nancy's like, I really do have to rip a piss. This town really thought of everything. Oh, so there's another thing. Oh, oh so cool. Stop. We'll just take that with stop us. Stop picking up arrowheads. <laughs> you clicked on it. I know, but shouldn't let me you do it. You did it. Shouldn't let me do you it. You did it. Okay. It Fucking was you. Telltale. <laughs> Fucking blaming me for everything. Jaw. Where's Jaw? <laughs> <laughs> what is that from again? It's Dave Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of his old stand-ups. Uh, where's Jaw? Where's Jaw? Because oh, <laughs> he's talking about Jaw Rule. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, hey, Cappies. Oh, shit. Cappies. Oh, fuck! So the key to Cappies is, in fact, a bar. Yeah. Maybe. Danger, keep out, full of rattlesnakes. Oh, it's full of rattlesnakes. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, the number. Oh, uh, well, there's, like, two trillion possible combinations yeah. <laughs> to this, so... Wait, what if it's, like, the serial number? That's a bit of a bust. From the, from the purse? I don't know, man. It had a letter in it. What the fuck, then? <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to solve a mystery, Sam. Okay. One of us has to. Uh-huh. Um, God, this place is scary. <laughs> I know, and the music that they're playing is not helping. It's like screaming. Oh, here's where Dirk was probably hung. Nice. That's a that's a hanging spot. Take a picture of it. That's a hanging. Po <gasps> My phone doesn't have a camera yet. Oh no, that was the other one. Yeah. When we were like the museum curator, yeah. the the playthrough that unfortunately never see the light of day. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll start over again at some point. Yeah. But, um, you know what? If the clue, if the clue crew and our, and our folks at home really like these, when we do these series, these long plays, like well, actually somebody asked us to play, um, the haunting of castle Malloy. Well, next, there you go. And I did promise them that we would do it because I was just like, so you were, you were riding a high. I just couldn't really, well, and, and you know what? I wouldn't mind it because castle Malloy. Well, first of all, it's a, it's a, a quote unquote scary game. Ooh. So there's that. We'll play um, with the lights off. There's also some like fun. <gasps> <gasps> oh my god, are they kissing? Oh my god, scandalous. Whoa, Tex. Oh my god. There's like a... There's Tex, like are you a, fucking her sister? There's like a Pocahontas thing going on here. Oh, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, there's like a consensual, knowledgeable Pocahontas thing going on Man, here. Man, I know we talked about it before, but Pocahontas the movie has no right being like being one of the most it, gorgeous know, animated movies I I've know, ever seen. I know, it's so wrong. It's very problematic, but boy, oh, is that movie pretty. Is Tex gone then? Oh shit, we Time can to snoop. We can fuck with his little thing over here, but there's nothing to see. Let's snoop around. Oh, okay. There's nothing to see. Tex was not this? hiding anything. Okay. Well, I guess the only thing he was really hiding was that whole sister thing. What the hell is this like? What shit going on with the sister? No, this fucking guitar rift. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fucking like Aerosmith out in the Arizona For desert. real. Yeah. Getting followed around by Steve Tyler. Yeah. Just get away from you, monster. <laughs> Why do you look like an ogre? Um, does anything want to happen? Okay. There's a fire pit that got built. Well, we need to call the sheriff about the, um, <sighs> the code to that thing. To, to, oh, so we can get into Cappies? Cappies, yeah. Hernandez. Hello, sheriff. It's Nancy. Hernandez. Hello, Nancy. What can I do for you? I suppose you're solving a mystery, are you? Some dumb tourists would knock into one of them and bring the thing down and I'd wind up having to dig them out. 
If I'm real careful, do you think I could have the combination? It's just an old shack. There's nothing to see in there. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hernandez, I'm a detective. <laughs> it's like, well, you see, Nancy, I'm a real detective. <laughs> I have a badge and a gun. Wow, he's being very trusting of yeah. this young girl. Very. That that did not take a lot of coaxing. Yeah. I'm not super... She was like, you call him and she's like, can I have the combination? And he was like, I don't know, it's pretty dangerous. And yeah. she was like, please. And he was like, oh, okay, here you yeah. go. He was like, if you so much as tap on a support beam, the whole thing's coming yeah. down. And she's like, if I'm like super careful, can I have the combination? So he was like, okay. This leads me to, yeah. Those support beams are literally made of dust. They will disintegrate if you sneeze. <laughs> Let's get back on Bob. All right, back to Bob. Back we go to Bob. Back to Bob. Maybe Tex is back now, and we can uh, we can ask him about his love life. Hey Tex, you with fucking... absolutely zero tact. Yeah, let's dude? go. Need something. Did I see you and Mary Yazi riding together? No. Nope. Mary Yazi, of course not. Why? Well, said more than ten words to her since I got here. Your imaginary thing. All right. All right. Well, I mean, I definitely fucking saw you too, so. Sick, uh, thanks for gaslighting the like, shit I out of me, Tex. Like, I saw you in plain sight. It's the middle of the day. I was about to say, you like, guys did this on the border of the ranch. I'm sure Shorty <laughs> and Buddy Boy saw you, saw too. Saw you, too, yeah. Like, you know. The, the geography, the exact, like, setup of the whole ranch is... Oh, oh that's not what that's I wanted. That's a purse. Can't it's, uh, it's confusing me a little bit, because apparently they have this, like, vast property, um, but people think that they can just, like, hide, but it's, like, the middle of the desert. I, I'm not sure... Well, yeah, because I imagine their what? property extends far outside of the gate as well. Yeah. I imagine, like, all of this barren land is their property. Yeah. Who would build a farm here? Like, it's like decrepit desert. I like, know, what are you it's, growing? It's very, very dry. So, I don't I don't know. I truly don't know. Um, yeah. All right, well, let's figure out the mystery of Dry Creek, and we'll have to do it next time. I want to keep playing. We could play for a little we longer play because this game for like two weeks, and I actually felt pain because. Of <laughs> well, we could we, we'll do a little bit of a longer episode just because we had to pause a bunch. Yeah. And uh, do you remember the combination? I think it was nine two seven four. I mean, your guess is as good as mine. Yeah. It was perfect. That was super creepy. I don't like how that. Yeah, happened. that was kind of. I don't like that slow reveal. Okay. Ooh, dust. <gasps> it's so fucking dusty in here. I mean, oh, like, shit. This, uh, this, this, this building predates electricity, so... That's pretty that's, scary. That's a little out of place. Oh, man. Oh, it's the Crackers. Yeah, but the brand name is... Rusted out. Fuck. That's, that sucks. Is that all we can do with that cam? We can't, like, look into it? Uh, for now, yeah. I mean, we'll probably have to look into it some more later, but as of right now. Um... Oh shit! That's not good. Maybe it's okay. Well, Maybe not for anything. Dave. But da yeah, Dave wanted us to fix that electrical thing, and he dumbass left his book in here. Does Dave not live on the ranch? I thought they all lived on the ranch. They do. So why is somebody hanging out here? Who's well, looking for the treasure? <laughs> Piano. Looks like I need to put in a <laughs> no, no, it's supposed to turn for for. Oh, Cameron. Um, can you tell me something? Can I ask what? you a question? Yeah, what's up? What are the buttons on a piano called? Keys? What building are we in right now? <gasps> it's Cappy's Keys. Mm -hmm. It's Cappy's Keys. Pappy's name, please. What was the name of Dirk Valentine's dad again? I don't know. You're asking me? You're <laughs> the one playing. Maybe the actual journal. Okay. The journal? Breaking news. Uh, it just occurred to me that if someone besides Sheriff, blah, blah, blah. Mary Yazzie. Prince Humber had matching pictures. Cousin. Dirk Valentine's father. That's right. That's yeah. the one. Yeah. Dave asked me to repair the hole in the chicken coop. Mary knows about Dirk Valentine's treasure. Okay. Francis. 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 Shawl with a daisy stitch. Which Francis thinks your father. Listen, George. Dirk. Francis. Jail cells. So need two things. Find out. What he was in jail and keep my fingers crossed the mesh is still there. Oh. Uh, she does a lot of writing. Oh my god, she's been writing this whole time. I found out that Shorty knows Valentine's treasure. Dave not only knows about it, he's been sneaking around looking for it. Saboteurs. According to Serlina Purcell, the Pappy Cashmere. 
No. Cash, yeah, Kashmir. Cash. That's C- his name. Cash and Mir. Okay. That is not how you spell Kashmir. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Is it going to... Oh, it's one of these. Oh, my God. Why? That's so dumb. Wait. C-A-S-H-M-E-E-R. Yep. This is it. What the H, though? How, like, how, what the fuck? Why can't we just spell it? <laughs> I don't know. This isn't even, like... <sighs> There's no, oh my gosh! <laughs> like, but we're just ah. gonna click until. Well, it's like you're just supposed to fucking, but then, but that might change other things. I don't, I don't even know the rotation of the letters, even. So I'm just like clicking until I get. Yeah, but that's gonna. Oh my <laughs> God. Uh, we want an M. We want two E's. This is so dumb. E. Oh, for fuck's, fucks sake. Are you fucking joking, Sam? <laughs> like, really? Uh, but then you gotta... And then that's oh, gonna are change. you kidding me? <sighs> uh, I, I love this game. <laughs> but I really want to fucking... Like... I, I, I get it. You're supposed to understand, like, which buttons change which things. But, like, the, int- the intrigue was finding out the name. Hold on, hold on. Oh, wait. Uh, uh. You're really close. <laughs> Because this one is just its own. You can change that whenever you want. Um. Okay, so the way it's going to have to go is... this one does these two. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got okay, it. I so got, you got it. it. I got it. So, so I'll get, that, get, get, get that to a C, and then you can just change the last one, one to an H. by itself. Okay. Great. I'm glad See, that, that we can... that wasn't so bad. It's just... <laughs> okay. So. Letter time. Oh. Stick the forks in and give it a spin. Off toward my treasure you'll go. Whose voice is that? <laughs> it's Dirk's. Oh, okay. Take your forks and a crank to the beady eyes ranch and make sure you see what's below. When you stick the forks in and give it a spin, off towards my treasure you'll go. Ooh. Okay, so forks. Um, remember those tuning forks that are in Mariana's yeah, place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need those. Okay. Crank. We have the crank already. Okay. From the thingamabob? Sure. To the Beady Eyes Ranch? I'm not sure what that means. I mean, maybe there's a new location we can go to. And make sure you see what's below when you stick the forks in. And Okay, so this second half. Okay, I don't need to read this again. Um, And I'm sure Nancy's written this down in her journal, maybe? Maybe once I back away and it... Um, Sorry, one second. Nancy, maybe you want to write this down? I'm getting a not alone. Oh, <laughs> scary. No one ever shows up. Oh, okay. Do that. Are we just being, like, watched or something? Yeah. Why, why go back in? Well, uh, there's something else with this piano going on here. Okay. Th- thank God we don't do the puzzle again. <laughs> yeah, no. Fuck that. I thought there was something else. I thought there was something in here. Apparently not. Um, okay, is there anything else in this in this area? Nope. And then we don't have the thing to make that work yet. And um, we can't look at this. So, uh, all right. Well, maybe uh, next time we can pick up where we left off. Okay. Yeah? Okay, I guess this is a good place to stop. Well, next time, folks, we are... We're going to continue to solve this effing mystery. Next time, what are we going to do? Next time, we're going to um, look into that letter that was underneath the piano keys. Yes. And fix the chicken coop for Dave. Yeah. So that the chickens don't get eaten by coyotes. God forbid that we don't do any choring.